Would you like to be able to use SSH to remote into your Windows 10 machine? Hi, I'm Wes Bryan, Entertainer at IT Pro TV, and I'm going to show you how to get that open SSH server up and running. Here on my Windows 10 desktop, one of the first things that we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, Windows tile, a little start button down here in the right lower left hand corner. We're going to right click and choose apps and features. Now this will bring up your Windows settings, apps and features uh, location. And what we're looking for is the little optional features hyperlink just below apps and features in the middle of your screen. You can click on this and this brings you to the optional features that are already installed in your Windows 10 machine. However, we don't have the open SSH server installed. So what we're gonna do is click the plus button with, that says add a feature. When we click that, you can scroll down. They are alphabetic and you will find the open SSH server in the list. And you can see it's about 1.23 megabytes. When we uh, hover over that, we should get the install button and we can click install. Now it disappears, but don't be, uh, don't be afraid. It didn't go anywhere. If we choose the back button in the upper left hand corner of our Windows settings um, window, you'll see that the open SSH server is currently being installed. And once it's installed, we can't use it yet. It's there, it's ready to go for us, and we can verify just by finding it in the list now. But what we need to do is we need to start the service and it doesn't start by default. So I'm gonna to go to the instant search field within the taskbar here, and I'm gonna type the word services.msc, and that'll allow us to open our services Microsoft Management Console. And in the Microsoft Management Console, you can search for through the list for the Open SSH server. And it's kind of redundant here. It'll say Open SSH, Open, or what, what have we got? Open SSH, SSH server. So a little redundant, but if you click on that, double click, you're going to notice that the service isn't started by default. Now, if you want this to start when the computer boots up, just change the startup type from manual to automatic, and then you can go ahead and click start. Once that's done, go ahead and choose the OK button and that'll now ensure every time you boot your Windows 10 machine that the open SSH server is running and listening out for SSH remote connections. Let's go ahead and test out our functionality here. I'm going to switch over to our uh, Linux machine. So I'm logged into my Linux server and I'm running Ubuntu here and we're going to use SSH the same way we use inside of Linux to connect to our Windows machine. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to type SSH space and I'm gonna type the username on our Windows 10 machine and then an at symbol and the IP address of our Windows 10 machine, 192.168.107.131 in this case. And when I enter this, notice that it's challenging me for the password. And I'm gonna go ahead and type in the password. And one of the things that you're gonna notice here is that we are in a Windows 10 prompt now. I can see C colon backslash users backslash student. And if I run a DIR command, I can see there is my Windows 10 profile. And we can even go farther than that. If we wanted to, we can do a CD backslash and take us all the way back to the root and we can look at the Windows directories here. So if we type DIR now, there we go. I've got my program files, program files, x86, users, and my Windows directory all here in an SSH shell connected from Linux back to our Windows 10 machine. If you like what you've seen here today, be sure to check out our playlist for more Windows 10 tips and tricks. As well, be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel.